Hey, my name is Gelly, definitely not Jelly. Please stop calling me Jelly. And this is Shivers Super Randomizer, uh, full of soupy run. Uh, Red Door, I'll explain everything that's going into that. Uh, let me just get into here with my, my name here. Let me check that the randomizer has worked. Uh, there's a randomizer that's added on top of that. I'll explain that when I get there. Uh, and time starts when I start moving away from this fence. So three, two, one, go. So Shivers, to explain, is a 1995 point-and-click adventure game by Sierra. This came out after Mist, so obviously it has the first-person perspective, and a lot of people say that this ruins Sierra and uh, whatever, right? But I personally think that this is a great cult classic for both being a horror point-and-click game and also being a speed game that already has a randomizer in it. So while I do a bunch of stuff that isn't randomized and honestly isn't really that interesting, I'll explain to you why uh, there's a randomization element. Oh, let me first go for this skit. All right, cool. So I open the menu and then I flip the light switch and that saves 15 seconds. It's sort of irrelevant, but I'll keep going. So what is the point of this game? You are stuck in a museum after taking on a dare by a bunch of teenagers. It's totally cool and rad and whatever. Uh, and you figure out the mystery of the museum, which contains a bunch of Ixupi, or demons. Uh, there are ten Ixupis, and there's a, ten elements associated with each of them, and then there's two pot pieces, a top and a bottom, that is associated with each Ixupi. So it's basically Ghostbusters. You find the top, you find the bottom, you clip them together, and then you hunt down where the demon is based on the element that the pot corresponds to, and once you capture all the demons, the game's over. So, the most interesting part about why this is cool for speedrunning is because all the pot pieces are randomized. So after I go up this elevator, I have no idea what I'm going to be talking about. So I'm going to do my best, but for the most part, it's sort of up on the air what I'm going to be able to discuss here. So that was a quick elevator, so that was a good randomization section. And let's move up this elevator here. So from here on out, I'm going to basically be checking out various pieces, calling out the element names, trying to figure out where to go and how to put things together in my head. I'm going to try to explain my thought process. This never goes well, but it, I, hopefully it's at least uh, entertaining to some extent. So first we're going to check out the desk over here. Uh, double click over here, turn, 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 and that's oil. That's a good place for oil. Uh, oil, cloth, and power are three very important elements, and I'll get there when I get there, I promise. For the time being, just know that there's an oil bottom piece over in the desk. You're not going to remember. That's chill. I'll have to, otherwise this run will go on for way too long. I have wax bottom in my inventory right now. I'm going to check out this mask, and that's ash bottom. That's a weird place for ash. I'll probably have to go pick that up later. Uh, sand, perfectly sufficient place for sand. And last piece out of this introductory part, cloth. Okay, so I know where to put cloth. So a lot of the routing that's involved here when I'm working with these pieces is trying to move them to better places, even if I don't have all the pot pieces together to capture the elements. So, for example, I'm moving cloth slightly closer to a place where it's easier to catch because there's a bunch of linens over here. It's sort of irrelevant whether I'm going to capture it here or not. It just matters that I have it in a place that's much easier for me to remember because sometimes I'm trying to remember 10, 15 pieces. Okay, metal. Okay, whatever. Um, so I'm going to go back down here. I mentioned that this is a bad place for ash. I can capture ash over here, but it's not a great place for, for, for capturing pieces, so instead I'm going to put it closer to a burial chamber which has some ashes on a table. A totally normal thing to exist in a museum, might I add. Uh, this puzzle sucks, so I'm not going to be able to explain it super well other than I'm trying to turn pieces and it, I, I, I always overshoot. It's just what, it's what it is. All right. Cool. Totally cool puzzle. Um, the other thing, so I'm going to be turning a bunch of skulls and dials. I also meant to talk to Beth. I'll have to go talk to Beth later. Uh, I'll explain that when I get there. Um, there's basically a slide at the very end of the game that contains a piece, and I have to activate that slide uh, unless I'm extremely lucky. I don't have to... What was that? There's a slide at the very end of the game that's activated by all these skull dials and also like another riddle. Um, but uh, I have to just do those ahead of time. There's no like explaining. Like I, I could tell you that this is red, uh, but there's a brochure that you have to read, and then there's also a riddle that you have to solve. And I'll be talking to a Beth who's dead tired. Haha. -ha. Well, it'll be way funnier when it happens. I swear. Uh, but until then, I'm basically just oh cool oil. All right. Whatever I was saying, totally irrelevant. We're gonna go do oil now. So I mentioned oil being an important element in this speedrun. Uh, oil, cloth, and power. Oil and cloth to have uh, two sort of special properties. I prefer oil over, over cloth, especially for the very beginning of the game, because 
uh, unlike any other element, uh, you have to capture the ghost associated with the oil element before doing anything else. What's in here? Oh, this is empty. Okay, cool. Um, so for, for oil, for example, I have to go down this long winding maze, and then I have to uh, cross a path that is blocked by the demon of, of note. So I have to make sure that I have that pot ready to go before I can even check some of the pieces. So I'm sort of locked behind capturing certain demons before I can get all of the pieces uh, that I need to. So we're going to be capturing oil first, which is sort of unusual. It's actually really good for, for a run. So I look forward to seeing how well this run is going to be. It's not going to be world record pace because there's a strategy that I implement uh, to some extent that is basically grinding for seeds that are good enough. Uh, but this probably will be a decent enough run with early oil unless I get absolutely shafted on everything else, but we'll see. So over here, um, I'm going to be looking at another piece which is in the floor because as a museum there's just things in the floor. Uh, and then I'm going to be opening this organ over here to open a maze and then go through that maze and capture the first demon, which is not as complicated as you think. Okay, what piece is in here? That's Ash. Okay. I mentioned Ash earlier, so we'll be able to do that uh, post-haste. Although, so a lot of the routing comes down to the fact that you want to avoid going down places where it's hard to get back and forth. And for no other reason, that, that section down there in the, the Atlantis Underground section, the big problem with that is that there's two creaky doors where the sound effect required to open it is 7.5 seconds long. So I'd rather not have to go down there, but I will. So I've captured my first demon by throwing a pot at it. Maybe it's more like Pokemon. Actually, yeah, Pokemon is more appropriate than, than Ghostbusters. Pokebusters? I'm sorry. Oh, cloth! Okay, this runs going extremely well. Normally what happens is you have like a running list of pieces in your head and they're not connected to anything else and you don't have like a real path that you're able to work with until the very end. Already, I have a piece that's corresponding to a bottom piece that I'm already working with. Fantastic, right? So we're gonna farm this real quick. Um, the process of farming, I just look back and forth until I hear a sound here. Oh. I, I did it too many times. This is not that hard, come on. Come on. There it is. So let me explain what I just did there. Uh, this will happen for a bunch of the other demons that aren't oil or cloth, except I did it for cloth, whatever. Um, the ghosts have various different places that they can spawn, right? So instead of having to hunt across the theater trying to find it, it turns out that when you move from place to place, it changes where they are. So if you find the perfect place where it like re-rolls the luck, like, you know, you can stand in a particular spot and it chooses a different place to move the ghost, then you can just do that back and forth. And I call that farming. Uh, you just farm the, the location of the ghost until it's in a place that's more appropriate, more uh, easier for you to work with than, than having to go all across the museum trying to find another place. Uh, it happens that the cloth location there is a lot easier to farm in this instance than uh, the place where you normally get it, because I'd rather be over here without having anything in my hands, because we're going to a dead end, this clock tower here. This clock tower is extremely important because A, it contains a piece in it, and B, it contains the ability to unlock a piece all the other way across the, the museum here. Uh, so I would rather be empty-handed so that I don't ever have to come back here again, because as you can see, it's a bit of a pain to get all the way through uh, into this clock tower. So I'd rather be empty-handed, pick up a piece, rather than potentially have to exchange a piece to where it currently lies, because I can only be carrying one piece at a time. Uh, if the little plate that exists here wasn't enough indication, I have to manage where pieces are a lot more thoroughly because I can only hold one pot or piece at a time. So oh, let me go down here. While I'm here, I'm also gonna have the ability to go into the theater and unlock this. Since I haven't talked to Beth, we're gonna go to the basement and talk to Beth. So I, there was something that I forgot at the very beginning. Uh, there's, there's, there's a riddle that's associated with a slide that I sort of mentioned um, where you can skip like most of it. Uh, however, in the randomizer setting, uh, we're able to skip like even more of a requirement because normally you have to capture a nine Ixupi before you're able to uh, do the rest of the riddle and capture the 10th one. But because the randomizer lets you uh, have some different things that we've added to it, we're just gonna, hi, talk to Beth. All right, read that page. Goodbye. 
she's sleeping. <laughs> but now that's unlocked our ability to do the slide once I do the rest of these skull dials over here. Um, okay, so I've got crystal on me, and I would rather have it be here. What did I put in masks? Let me check real quick. I might have taken what was ever in masks. Ah, oh, beans. It was metal. Okay, can I, can I leave crystal in here? I think I can. Let's see. What's in here? Oh, son of a beans. I've already forgotten where the pieces are because, oh, you know what, screw it. I'm going to go into the place that I said that I didn't want to go, uh, which is over here. Again, this door takes forever to go forward and backwards through, so I'd rather not do it, what I'm about to do, but it is what it is. Okay. Uh, oh! Just kidding. <laughs> I got extraordinarily lucky there. The counterpart to Crystal just happened to be there. I'm serious. I did not expect that to happen at all. I thought I was going to be in much worse spirits after that. No, this is fantastic. Now I can farm for Crystal, which I'm doing on the stairs right now, although very poorly. Come on, let's, let's, let's get a move on. Uh, Crystal is a coin flip. There's only two places that it can spawn. So every time I reroll the dice, it's a 50-50 chance whether it's going to appear. So usually Crystal is a lot faster than like Wood, which has four different places to spawn. So it's like a 25% chance every time I have to do the reroll. Uh, so usually it's not that bad, but it sort of averages out over time. Uh, more often than not, I end up having it instantly there than having to do a bit of farming because that's just what the luck is. All right, so now that I'm empty handed, I can pick up my last piece that's over here. Oh, that's right, I have ash in the basement, don't I? Well, there's nothing here, okay. Uh, the reason that there's nothing here is because the randomizer, which is the SR in the category name, the super randomizer, it actually adds a couple of additional places where normally the game doesn't put pieces. And so there's gaps that can appear in different places that you normally wouldn't expect. So, uh, in that case, I wasted a bunch of time looking for a piece that wasn't there. So, uh, good times had by all. Normally you can hope for a piece, uh, for a gap to be in a place where, like, you don't want to do a puzzle. For example, the category that I'm learning also has a tag called Exclude Liar, because there's a puzzle in this game which is 3 minutes and 15 seconds long, and it's horribly boring, and it's stupid and bad. Um, and so we've chosen for the purposes of the randomizer to have it so that there's always a gap uh, at that layer so you don't ever have to do it, which like, thank goodness, right? Uh, sitting around for 3 minutes and 15 seconds playing Simon Says for a 15 note long sequence is it's just a bummer. Um, the other thing is the red door, which is the thing that I just went through here. While I unlock a couple of other pieces, that was water by the way. Um, the red door is normally locked by a puzzle that takes a minute and a half to two minutes to solve. So we never do it in like vanilla runs or anything that requires any amount of time. However, because we have the ability to change certain values in the game, we can also change that to be unlocked from the beginning of the game. Uh, this allows for some slightly different routing options because normally where I'm standing here is a dead end, but now it's in the middle of something and so I can just sort of pick up pieces and, and just keep chooching along. So now I've explained everything that I'm doing. Okay, that's wood? What, where do I get wood? I mean, I guess it's like a sufficient place to put wood, but... Alright, I'll just have to remember. Uh, this is the UFO puzzle. The interesting thing about this is that this is so poorly randomized sometimes. Except it's not in this instance, is it? Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, there's very consistent ways that this happens to be shuffled around. Um, and sometimes you can get solutions where it takes only three or four moves to solve it, but in that instance it took like 12. That's water! Let's go do water real quick. Uh, so I have the water top and I have the water bottom, and so that should be capturing like our, our fifth Ixupi or something? I don't know, I can't count. Hey, it will be our fifth Ixupi! <gasps> I can do numbers. Okay, so uh, we're hoping for the buff water Ixupi to be in the toilet here, so I'm gonna do a little bit of farming here. Oh, there it is. He has abs, that's why he's buff. So now we've got five of the Ixupi out of ten. We've got a variety of pieces. We've got like sand in the library. We've got wax in the library. We've got metal in the masks and I haven't found the metal base for that yet. Uh, we've got power over there. Basically now this is what I would expect a normal seed to be where you're just trying to remember a bunch of pieces and you're just having a hard time with it. It's a tie of practice so I'm totally not having a hard time with this. All right so over here we've got the uh, alchemical machine. This one's also poorly randomized in a way that's hilarious. If I can find the second piece which is right here then I can take a consistent uh, gap every time. So you can see that I'm basically going uh, skip one and then the next piece happens to be one. So skip a, skip a space and then all I need to do is spin it. Oh come on! <laughs> Those were both in their 
the correct starting place. Uh, I should explain why clicking is so perhaps abysmal in this game. Uh, it, it's, it's a double-edged sword. Right and left click both do the same thing. So the reason that I'm able to like click so dang fast through here isn't because like I'm good at mashing or anything, but I'm able to do sort of a hybrid like left click then right click, left click then right click. However, what ends up happening is you click more times than you would expect and it, it just sort of throws off your rhythm every so often. Uh, so, you know, obviously another thing that can just sort of go wrong, but uh, more often than not, it happens to be very useful, as you can see, I'm just absolutely... That is not where Wax is. I left Wax in the library, you dang uh, Okay, so I got Wax over here. Wax happens to be an easy enough farm on these candles over here, although it might take a while because this game is relentless when it comes to bad RNG. So here's the farm on, on Wax here. Okay, there it is. Thank goodness. Sometimes Wax can take 20 to 30 attempts because the RNG is just so bad, but... I basically went back and forth until the ghost decided to appear here. Hooray. Okay, now I'm empty-handed. Okay, now we're going to take the secret back rooms, which has probably the bangingest track in this game. Uh, by Normally I wouldn't like want to unlock this. Oh yeah, I gotta do this. Green. That is a color. Uh, normally I wouldn't want to do this because with the red door I, sh I don't have a need to do uh, this back area, but it increases my flexibility just a touch, and so I usually prefer to do it more than that. I don't strictly have to, but I, I prefer to. So Let's go check out the two last pieces that I'll be able to see with my own eyes. Uh, this is power top, and then, okay, so I've got power bottom over there. Power is the last element that I haven't mentioned being special. Power is the last pot that you have to do no matter what, and there's one place that you have to do it. So there's a lot of having to figuring out the routing there as well. Okay, I'm bad with mastermind, so whoever is good at mastermind, get ready for the wildest trip of your life. Okay, hold on, that's that's good. That's good. Who remembers mastermind? Uh, is this? Is it this? And then maybe... No, hold on. Okay, this is a bad one. Usually I get like decently lucky, but for whatever reason, uh, that one happened to be pretty bad. So the deal with Mastermind, if you've never heard of it, is that it'll tell you how many are in the correct position and how many are in the incorrect position, but the correct one. So, okay, I know this is correct, and I know it's gotta be something like this at this point, right? And then we'll try this. Okay, 22, so it's probably this and then this, and then this, and then this, and then one, two, three, 31. That's like close. <laughs> this is, this is a bummer, I know, hold on. So if this is 31, this is probably gonna be 32. So I have to figure out which two to switch it with. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, no, wait, over here. I got extraordinarily lucky, but we pulled through, fantastic. Uh, I, I was just talking with someone who said they'll explain Mastermind to me, but it, it's going to happen after this run, so you got to see the, the most embarrassing implementation of Mastermind in the speedrun. But it's no it's no bother. It only took us, what, a minute and a half? <laughs> it's usually not that bad, I promise. Alright, and then this puzzle is predetermined. It's boring. Uh, if you ever play this game casually, this puzzle is the worst puzzle in the game because it makes absolutely no sense, but uh, thankfully, we're not casuals here. <laughs> sort of. So uh, it should be no Prabalo from here on out. So I'm currently holding sand. Uh, I remember sand being in library and so I'm just going to make the mad dash over there because there's only two places that sand can spawn and both of them are at the very beginning so it makes more sense to bring sand across the barrier this way. I don't think there's a piece that I can bring back that makes sense. There's also a skull dial that I've forgotten to turn which is bearing down on my mind. Uh, five out of six are currently uh, doing their thing, so I have to think about how to get that one done before I go down the slide, which I'm pretty sure at this point contains metal bottom, although no promises. Um, so once I do sand here, I've got metal somewhere, and then I've got power somewhere else. I have both the power ones figured out, that's fantastic. Uh, and then, what, like, what are the other elements? How many How many elements can there be? Ten? Uh, let's see, I've got four, four to go. Oh, ash! Is Ash down here? No, wait, I did Ash, didn't I? Yeah, I totally did. I was I was, I was, was hopeful for a second. Okay, there we go. Um, that was another farm. Uh, sand didn't happen to be in this sculpture, but then I went down and up the stairs, and the 
And the ghost is there, so fantastic. Um, where, where in the world would the last sort of sort of pieces be here? Uh, I've got in here. I've got metal. That's right. Metal is a thing that I have to do. Okay, we'll go down the slide. So. I have the last skull dial that I have to turn, which is in this magnificent room with werewolves in it or something. I don't know. It's been a while since I played this game. C casually. It's been a while since I played this game casually. Uh, red is there. Okay, fantastic. So now I should be able to go down the slide. I'm going to check this real quick. I think I've already done this, although... Okay, yeah, that's wood. Okay, yeah, wood somewhere. Where the heck would I have left wood? Here's a piece that I'm missing somewhere. There's two pieces that I'm missing, actually. Um, but I thought I'd checked all but one place, so I guess we'll have to see. Uh, there's no piece in there, obviously. Uh, I'm going to take down the piece that's in the hangman here by using a sound skip to skip a bit of a cutscene. I will explain it after I pull it off here. Okay. okay. So what happened there was uh, the game has only so many sounds that can play at a time. I think it's like five. Uh, it was, it's only able to play five sounds at a time. So if it's playing too many sounds and it tries to play a cutscene that relies on the length of the sound, then it'll just skip the sound and skip the cutscene. So what I did there was I waited until a background uh, sound kicked in, and then I activated the puzzle proper. So okay, that's metal. So that's what I thought. Where have I left wood bottom? Have I, have I, have I even mentioned wood bottom? Is it in desk? No, oil was in desk. Uh, was it in workshop? No, I don't think it was in workshop because that was wax. Uh, was it in plants? No, plants was empty. Was it in nest? No, nest was crystal bottom. I'm doing a, a metal farm, by the way, while I'm trying to run through all the other... Oh, it's in theater! <gasps> That's right, I forgot to check out theater because I talked to Beth, the dead girl. Oh, wait, she's not dead, she's sleeping. Uh, after, after I had talked to her, I had forgot to go into the theater and then I forgot to check the piece because that was a mistake. So, we're all accounted for now, thank goodness. Uh, except this metal farm is going to take forever because this metal farm always takes forever. Oh, there we go. Fantastic. All right. So now to clean it up, I'm going to grab wood bottom from the theater. I'm going to take it all the way back up to the bathroom and I'm going to farm wood there for a bit. And then I'm going to pick up power bottom after I've done that, which is currently in a Nazi, the thing that was playing the little tune. And then I'm going to probably not go down the slide but i'm going to go back over here where i've left power bot uh power top finish the power piece and then finish the game so we've got like a minute minute and a half i don't know i don't know what time it is i'm gonna go over rest of it oh no now we're good um okay so over here we're gonna go to the bathroom because i left wood top over here a little bit of zoom in this is always the best part, because it feels really nice to go so fast after having to hang up on pieces for so long. Um, there it is. Alright. Fantastic. Wood farm happened to go extremely fast this time. Sometimes it doesn't. So we got extraordinarily ugly. ugly. We did good. Alright, now I gotta just pick up uh, power bottom, which is over here, and then power top, which I left at the bottom of the... the uh, slide that I just went down, and then that'll be GG skis. I will tell you when time is, I promise. <laughs> It'll be like 14 seconds after, so I'll like, be like, get ready on time, etc. You know, uh, where did I leave top, power top? Is it here? Was it there? Was it anywhere? It was here. Okay, cool. W wouldn't that have been embarrassing? Nah, we're good. I remember things. All right, we're almost done here. So time ends when I capture the power exupi and the power hits the bottom. Oop. Come on. So this is where the power exupi always is. Okay. Time happens soon, I promise. Get ready. <laughs> I just have to tell you, I'm sorry, there's no, like, obvious cue. And... Time. Oh, that was a rough seed, especially because I forgot so much, but like, it all came together in the end, so it all worked out. What was the time? Someone tell me. Sorry, we hold on. Oh. Sorry, what? 24.06. Really? I thought I went over the rest of it. That's fantastic. Also, this is the most jubilant ending to a game. 
A dead girl on the cover of a newspaper, accompanied by grandiose music. Uh, that's just not. You Anyways, a hero um, time, world record's like a 19-something, but, but that's based on a strat that I, I have to, like, farm seeds for, so it's really rough. So that went really well. So uh, thank you for watching. Um, there's a Shivers Discord if you want to join the community. We would be more than welcome to help because it's just a bunch of people who like this game and now they speedrun it. So it's a nostalgia fest. It's great. And um, and thank you, Speedgun, for hosting me. This is this is a blast. All right. Before you go, I've, I've got a I've got I've got a donation to read for you. Uh, sure. I've got I've got five dollars from Zed saying, "Hey Gal, hey Gally, does this game have an auto splitter yet? Good luck on the run, man." Yes and no. Zed, just leave me alone, please. <laughs> I want to sleep <laughs> at night. <laughs> Thank you, Zed. All right, we're gonna leave it at that. Uh, coming up next, we've got Super Mario and the Cursed Castles by Ludwig von Duper. Please stay tuned for the next run.